Now it's time to build the Python application. Actually, it is the Flask application. Now the first thing, let's create this directory test dash compose. Okay. Well, actually name it whatever you want. This is just arbitrary name. Let's go to it and let's make this file, which is app.py. Okay. So well, actually I'm using the touch command. Okay. So you can use any text editor to create this file. No big deal. Okay. Actually, I will use the Visual Studio code as you can see. So from here, I will open the file and yeah, we are ready to go. Okay. Now the first thing, let's import the time. Okay. Then import Redis. Then from Flask, Flask. Okay, but don't forget that here the app is capital. Okay, so let's zoom this actually. Now let's start creating the app, which is app Flask, the name. Then cache Redis, which is the name of the library. Dot Redis and here I will put host equal Redis and port equal 6379 okay well actually this course is not about Python or Redis but I'm just showing you a simple a Python application and how to build it so you can build your own container run your own application on the docker containers using the docker file and docker compose all right actually after I finished the code it will be something like this so you can see that import time import Redis from flask import flask app this is the flask the first application the cache is redis the host is redis port is 6379 now actually i defined this function and as you can see this function to have the functionality of the time so each time we refresh the page it will count as a one okay and here if we have a connection failed the like exception or whatever okay now here is app route slash which means anything the diff hello so get hit and hello world i've been seen as you can see i have the board format here and times the format is the count which is the one i got it from here and the get hit count okay from here okay now actually again now this course is not about python is not about lask now it's about docker actually so regardless about the code it doesn't matter but if you are interested you can check my other courses actually about the Python, about Flask, uh, about a lot of web development technologies actually, and DevOps. So, but for now, just focus about the Docker thing, okay? Now, don't worry about the code. I will provide you with the downloadable file, okay? So you can just download this source code and just run it as is, okay? But it's not bad to know how this application works or how, what is the result after all, right? Okay. Now let's save this actually, and then we will head down here. We will make another file, and this file we will name it requirement.txt file. Requirement.txt, requirement.txt like this. And let's open it, and inside it we will put the flask and Redis. Okay? So actually, this will be used when we install our application. Okay? So just keep with me. All right, now so far so good. Now we have created the directory, this directory. We go to it, we make the app.py Python file and inside it we saw that we have this simple Python application, the Flask application, actually. It do nothing, actually it is just print the hello world and you have a counter that each time you refresh the, the page, it will be, you can see that I have seen number of times, all right? Then we created the requirements file, the text file, and inside it, we saw that we have the Flask and Redis, okay? So when we install using the pip, pip install this dash r, the requirements, we will install the Flask and Redis. By the way, you can specify the version of the Flask and Redis as well, okay? But this is just a simple Python application, okay? So after all, I'm teaching you the skills and giving you all the options you have. Then you are the developer or you are the engineer. You, you need to do your own stuff, right? Okay. Now I will see you in the next lecture where we will start building our Docker file. All right. I will see you there.